What's good, geeks? I'm Jake. And I'm Gen X. I'm Anna. I'm Gen Z. And, and we, we are Generational, Generational geeks. geeks. And today we are reviewing... Loki! Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> so, Loki. This is an American television series created by Michael Waldron for the streaming service Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's based on the Marvel MCU character of the same name, Loki. This is set in the MCU. Uh, it does take place directly after... Endgame. Well, directly after the Avengers. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. It's a... It's... <laughs> it's, it takes it's place all over the... All, it starts directly... Yeah. After the events of the first Avengers movie. Yes. But what happened into what happened in Endgame leads up to Yeah. This. It's hard to explain. Yeah. You got to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> um <clears throat> for cast we obviously have Tom Holland who has Tom played Holland. Hiddleston. <laughs> there's too many Toms. Just like there's too many Chris's. <clears throat> Hiddleston, they will start with an H, you know, close enough, <laughs> who has obviously played Loki in every MCU film. Not that he's and, been in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just in all of them. You just can't see him. Yeah, he's in the background somewhere. <laughs> he is the god of mischief. <laughs> um, and he was also in Kong Skull Island, which for some reason I don't remember. I don't remember him, his character. I remember the yeah. movie, but... I, I was very surprised when I read that. I was like, he was. Yeah. Uh, Owen Wilson as Mobius from the Shanghai movies, Zoolander movies, and Night at the Museum movies. Just a lot of comedy stuff. Which, hey. <laughs> I like Owen Wilson. I do too. I thought he was very good in this. Yes. And in the other movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sophia Di Martino as Sylvie, who was in the Into the Badlands series, which you... Yeah, I watched that. Yes. She was only in a few episodes. She hasn't really been in much. Hmm. So. Well, she was good in this, so it's not like she was an underground actress that's awful. Yeah. So. <laughs> so this will be a spoiler-free review, but we will have a discussion. At the end. At the end. So. After the review. If you haven't watched the series, watch till the end and we'll have a um, little spoiler warning yes. pop up before we actually talk spoilers. Or we'll just say spoiler warning. <laughs> so this was six episodes, and all the episodes were right around 45 to 50 minutes. Um, and season two has been announced. I haven't seen a date, but they are going to season two. So this was rated uh, TV 14 for violence and language. It's an action-adventure sci-fi series, and it was released June 9th. They released one episode, and then they did an episode every week. So After just that. like Falcon and Winter Soldier and WandaVision. Oh. Well, WandaVision, they did three episodes, or two episodes, and then oh. went week to week. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, similar formats. Yes. But, yeah. Um, this obviously follows the MCU villain, Loki, and he resumes his role as the god of mischief. Of course. And, like we said, this takes place after Endgame, but kind of after the Avengers. events of the first Avengers. Yes. It's confusing. <laughs> so, not really. Well, it's, when it's you not watch confusing it, when you not, watch yeah. it, but it's confusing Trying to, to explain, explain it. it. Yes. yes. So, positives for me, uh, the show had some plot twists. For me, they were all kind of obvious, mm -hmm. except for maybe the very end. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it did have a strong cast, and the acting was good. As usual, it's an MCU project, yeah. so and the no visuals were there. good. Oh, the F F F F F F. <laughs> <laughs> the special effects, S effects, were great. Yes. Uh, things that stood out as negative for me, I was kind of bored throughout. Uh, the first couple episodes were good, <laughs> good enough to <laughs> keep you coming back. They were good enough to keep you coming back, and I still fell asleep during the first episode. <laughs> but it just, after the first couple episodes, it just kind of... It dragged out. It went on longer than it needed to. Yes. And the writing for me was not great. It could have been 
a lot better. Yes. <laughs> Especially for an MCU project. I mean, you obviously have a bunch of amazing writers, and access to a bunch of amazing writers, like, could have easily bumped up the quality of it. Yeah. And I mean, so, like you said, some of the plot twists were just kind of very obvious. Yeah. And it was, I was, like I said before, this is, the MCU is kind of the opposite, under Disney is the opposite of Star Wars under Disney, where the MCU movies are good and the series have been kind Black of a luster. letdown. But with Star Wars, the movies have been horrible. Lackluster. <laughs> Think about it, just horrible. <laughs> You're like, it's okay. <laughs> but the just series, horrible. you know, Bad Batch, Clone Wars, Rebels. Those uh, were all great. Mandalorian. Those have all been good, but the movies, not so much. So, they this is another MCU series, and I feel like with this, they could have easily just made this a two hour movie and got the same out of it. Two and a half hours. We'll throw that in. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, people are still going to watch it even if it's two and a half hours. Yes the MCU. So my rating for this, I'm going to give this a six. I was going to say six. Yeah. Maybe seven. I mean... <laughs> Some episodes were better than others. Like I said, the first two were were probably the best. If I was doing it on an episode by episode basis, those yeah. would get a higher rating, but just in general, I mean, a couple of the episodes were probably fives. Yeah. I mean, I like Loki as a character both in Norse mythology and in the MCU canon. So I just kind of, I'm, I'm a little biased here. <laughs> well, I was really looking forward to this. But I don't feel like this was a Loki, Loki show. show. I feel like this was a show that Loki was in. Yeah. I feel like it could have more heavily centered around him and, and his, his powers backstory and, and his powers. Yes. Uh, where he came from, right. just, I mean, yeah, it's all been explored, but it hasn't been explored in depth, and that's kind of what I thought this was going to be. Yeah, and I've, I won't watch this again. I'll probably watch season two when it comes out, just because they're making it to where you're going to have to watch the shows in order to be caught up when the movies come out. Uh, when we get into the spoilers, we'll go a little bit more in depth yeah, on that what? a little bit. So you're gonna have to watch the shows to be caught up on the movies yes. when they come out. So we'll, we'll watch season two, but I'm not gonna go through and rewatch season one. I'd be willing to, but I mean, if it's on the background, I'm not gonna turn it off. <laughs> I didn't hate it. So this is your. Uh... Cut off like, comment, subscribe. Yes. And now we're going to talk about spoilers. Yes, this is your cutoff if you have not watched yes. the show. Spoilers. This is your time to leave, go watch it, and come back. Yes. And then come back, watch after this, so you can... Tell us your opinions of it right now in the comments, and then come back and tell us them after you've watched it. <laughs> <laughs> so, spoiler warnings. For me, I feel like Loki as a character, Nerfed. as the character of the MCU that we've seen, especially up until the Avengers movie, was definitely nerfed. Like I said, this could have easily been a, a movie. There were way too many filler episodes that didn't really do much, and there were a couple episodes that seemed like they just had it to pack it with Easter eggs, and that episode of the group of Lokis. That really yeah. didn't... I mean, they had it, and it was... Kind of cool to see all that and see the different variations, but they didn't do anything with it. I feel like that was just completely they, wasted. They, they talked about defeating Goliath. They didn't go and defeat Goliath, and they didn't even make a plan to defeat Goliath until the episode after that, where Sylvie shows up. Right. So, and I think I think they could have done a lot more. That was like more. a complete filler episode. I think they could have done a lot more with that episode, and just had the Lokis. Dive into their backgrounds. Yeah. Why are they variants? Yeah. What did they do? They I did mean, that a little they bit. They did but a little bit, but not, not really. Yeah. Or they could have just done a, a better fight scene. With the Lokis. With the Lokis. Than and I mean, that, that kid Loki was like, oh, uh, Tom Hiddleston Loki was like, 
what are, uh, why are you the leader? What are you in for? And the kid Loki was like, I killed Thor. Like that, you could have yeah. dove into that a lot further because there's a lot of potential yeah. there. If you needed a filler episode, you could have actually exactly. made it entertaining. <laughs> and Why is the alligator Loki here? Because, I mean, all the other ones, you know, the old guy, he's a variant because he survived Thanos. The kid is a variant because he killed Thor. But they were all very... The variations. black guy carrying Milnor. Yeah. Yeah. They were all variations of the same <laughs> of Loki. Loki. Right. The alligator, like, what... Where did he come from? <laughs> yeah. Because there's a difference between variations and different people on different timelines. So. Yeah. So I felt like no Loki was nerfed, and there was one the, scene, the one scene where he lifts the building before it hits him and Sylvie. That, that was that was, that was the, the only, only time that he actually kind of show of power. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like there could have been a lot more with that. Or like when the old Loki brought up that illusion. Yeah, you know, that was that should have been Tom Hiddleston's moment, not some random Loki. Should have been the Loki that we were there to watch. And, and I felt the romance between Sylvie and Loki was kind of strange because they're, they're, it seemed, they're it the felt, same per It was awkward. Well, and it felt like. kind of forced. forced. I don't... I didn't... The chemistry between them, I didn't feel as much as the chemistry between like Loki and... Morbius. Mobius. Mobius. Yeah, I was gonna say there. There was. A, when I, they were first, both on screen together, I thought together, they were going that way. When they were both on screen together, they were great. Exactly. At and first, that's I thought they were going they that were, way. They were good, but then when it was like Loki and Sylvie, I didn't really get the chemistry from those two. I mean, I could kind of, I could see Loki falling in love with himself. Yes. That's easy. But the Loki in this is supposed to be the Loki after Avengers. And what we got was more the Loki at the beginning of Endgame. Yeah. And I know they had him watch, you know... A, his life. His timeline of his life and going through, like, Thor Ragnarok and all that stuff. But I just felt like the Loki after Avengers was still not redeemed as a character. And they just redeemed him, like, in the first 20 minutes of this show. Yeah. And um, another thing I wanted to mention, when this series was first announced, there was a lot of people, like, before trailers, stuff like that, there was a lot of people talking about how maybe it was going to be Loki survives Thanos somehow, you know, like, creating an illusion of himself right. and actually surviving, which I feel like would have been a much better plot point because there was even like evidence that people were finding and stuff well, of and, him surviving. Yeah. And but so when they first announced the Loki, I think it show it was before Endgame, I think. And then you saw him die. But then in Endgame when he grabbed the Tesseract and disappeared, I kind of figured they were going to go based off of that Loki, but yeah. I didn't expect them to keep him the redeemed Loki. That they had at the beginning of Endgame. Yeah, I didn't expect like the TVA or the. Well, variants. after the first series, people were talking about it being the TVA, which yeah. I never read about them in the comics or anything, so I didn't. Have... Which is why we didn't expect it, but. <laughs> so I didn't have a, any knowledge of the TVA going in, so I don't know if this was accurate to the comics or not. I just um, I wanted more Loki power. Yeah. Like, give him a huge fight scene, like the the one. With um, He Who Remains, that was very lackluster. Yes. And that was supposed to be their final boss. Yeah. And this seems to be leading into a, the Doctor Strange uh, movie. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, Multiverse of Madness. And, you know, the WandaVision was reported to be the one that was leading into that, but I felt like Loki is leading into that way. Yeah, more because than I mean at the end when you see all the branches right. and stuff, that yeah. multiverse of madness. Yeah. And I don't know the statue at the end. It looked yeah. like the he who remains guy. The, yeah. But a lot of people are saying that's Kang the Conqueror. Okay. <laughs> 
I mean, they were Which wearing the know. same clothes and had the same face, but all right. I don't know a lot about that character, but yeah. apparently it's Reed well, Richard's I mean, yeah. son in the, or descendant in the future. I guess it could be a variancy of that of guy. He who yeah. remains variancy. That's what I figured. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was just I didn't feel like it was a Loki show. It had Lokis in it, but it wasn't the Tom Hiddleston Loki. It After was a, Avengers. A Loki's Bizarre Adventure. Yes. It wasn't just Loki. And. Like it focused more on the TVA and the timeline and the going through the motions rather than it did Loki. And I felt like it was a really short, abbreviated, lazy redemption arc from Loki. Yeah, there definitely could have been more redemption. Yeah. Or more time before his redemption, because yes. it was like, oh, I watched this sad thing, and now, now I'm a I'm good redeemed. guy. Yeah. I don't know. So, if you've watched to this point, let us know your thoughts. Comment below. What did you think? Are you looking forward to season two? Did you really enjoy season one? Are we out of our minds for not liking? <laughs> I'm still looking forward to season two, because, I mean, cliffhanger man. But, yeah, and I mean, like I, I said, I'll I, watch it. I'm invested. I'm just not like invested, you know. Yeah. I'm Gen X. I'm Gen Z, and, and we, we are, are generational, generational geeks. geeks.